All right, we're back once again. We've been starting a lot of these videos right here in front of Kantaris here, I've noticed. Okay, so we should be able to pick up the lore, and uh, we'll see if we have to do yet another rift here. If we do, that's going to be half the video right there. <laughs> Oh, it's below me. Ten meters below me. That's kind of... Doesn't make a lot of sense, I don't think. What the heck? Uh, it's definitely not near it. Okay, yeah, it is down here. It must be one of the enemies, I'm assuming. Or maybe not, it's right here. Okay. Now we have to go and complete a rift. I know, they're kind of shooting in rifts at the very end of this, it seems like. Hopefully there's one nearby. Let me get up here first before I take a look. Since we're right next to the portal at that point. There's one basically right in the exact spot we had before. That's crying. That's crazy. <laughs> it's the only one, too. Nice. Okay, I guess it's back to Port Scudger then. Hello. We will find victory. It's just kind of amazing to me that it's the exact same spot and the only spot like it was before. I wonder if they're on maybe like some sort of like time period for this. Because I think I probably did the rift around the same time period as I am doing this one now, so maybe they are in like some sort of like timer on very specific places. The only thing we have to watch out for this one is the the wolves. There's a couple of them kind of spawn like right towards the edges, and I think one spawns right in the middle, which is kind of unfortunate. Yep, we're on the right track. World Chat is very active tonight. It is Friday night as I'm doing this, so that probably makes sense. Weekends probably see more activity than weekdays. Okay, we're just about here. We'll probably have to kill the one wolf that's around the center. Here we go. And this one's going to go down pretty easily. I'd be amused if the rift like went off right before I finish this up here. You know, like right when we're about to use the lore, the rift like opens up and turns to rift for rift. Okay, let's do this. Another wonderful water rift for us to do. I 
uh, some different enemies this time at least. <laughs> I'm assuming the smaller ones are probably the weaker ones. Yeah, they are. That helps us out though. Seems very, very similar to the one we did the other night. I'm curious though, can we do uh, some planar attunement here while we're uh, just kind of here awkwardly? <laughs> All of a sudden they're all like on top of me, that's not good. They barely do any damage to me, so I guess I don't have to worry too much. Plenty of brisket to be had. devourers, though we do have one lurker around. That's two weak uh, turnabouts in a row. That's strange. They must be going to throw something big at us next time. I so it seems so. Also, when I logged in today, they were saying that I got some bonus stuff experience. Like 50% more bonus experience from like killing enemies, I think, and a couple other things. So hopefully that helps out a little bit today. Yeah, we got some sort of boss coming up next. Gotta fight this guy today. Ooh, I got bolted. Okay, so I don't want to be in front of them when they do that attack there. Only the bolt really can do any damage to me, because everything else is being targeted from my razor base. Oh, that is not where I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I guess I have to be on the watch out for that. Oh. Let's 
still just being bolts at the moment. That's almost dead, so I don't think I have to worry too much. There we go. The Arkvan are legion mortals. You cannot hope to kill them all. I can certainly try. I am now a god. What is stopping me from destroying you, Thringa? Martridum is my master, not you. You may have the words of power, but I have the ancient power of the Shurax coursing through my frozen blood. Defy me and I will break every bone, sever every sinew, and obliterate every organ in your fishy body. I will leave your heart beating just long enough to hold your ruin to the peak of Mount Sherax, so that Matradron may feast upon it. It was a rhetorical question, you brute. I would never subvert the will of Matradron. I will leave this ascended scum to you, Arvon. The Avatar of Madness awaits. This is kind of awkward, everybody just kind of hanging around. <laughs> Curious. The uh the brushback is being pushed back in this battle. I guess the rift enemies have some sort of power up against regular NPCs. in time. Come, my glorious friend. Slaughter these Agman and devour their interdimensional corpses. Oh, I don't want to be near its tail, apparently. This is actually kind of more difficult than I figured it would be, just because of the uh, different AOAs they can do. As soon as we take out one of them, it's going to become easier at least. I guess General Oog's ghost is still coming after us. I don't know, I think I'm gonna die, but since the NPCs are fighting, it's probably gonna save me uh, the bit of damage I've already done here. So 
Yeah, let me just go ahead and move back a little bit. I just can't die again or I'm gonna have to come all the way back from somewhere. Oh shoot. Why am I losing... Why am I losing, uh, HP? Like, randomly. I need to get away from here for the moment. I should be able to just walk out and get my HP back, right? As long as it doesn't reset it, then I can just walk back out and uh, fight them at my leisure. I don't know why the other one, like, far away is targeting me like it is, though. That's kind of obnoxious. Obnoxious, I mean. Dead, so we're just going to have to follow them and end up with the last one here soon. Okay, that's another one down. One left. It's been targeting me this entire time. Okay, we'll get this, it's just uh, a little bit more. And finished. Dust of the Void, that's interesting. Yeah, that took us about 20 minutes. So I wasn't too wrong in that being basically half the video. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's unfortunate. I received Dust of the Wind, but I don't see it in my inventory. That's curious. Oh, I have it right here. I got three of them. Okay.
Yeah, right, time to just set up the portal in here. I'm assuming we're probably gonna head to Mount Sherox next. Almost ran right off of there. <laughs> You destroyed the Akvan who had cursed Bolas and filled it with a vortex, they will no longer be able to summon Mushadrom into the Akvan stronghold. However, both was able to acquire the final war power. Perhaps this was the plan all along, or perhaps this was desperation. You have fooled so many of their plots, they will do anything to achieve their goal, no matter the price. The good news is that your Skelf friend Fenric has proved herself an ally. She and her rank warriors helped win the day. The Skelf are strong on their own, and attracted to even greater power. Too often they are swayed by the might of Akvan, but they, that they allied with you may be a difference that saves the cosmos. Legic Order is an ancient order of honored dreams that formed in the time of crisis. We continue the fight as best as we can, but we are old dreams, and spread thin. This Selenian Rink, led by your friend Fenric, is, a new, is new and powerful. Battles and fights early on will shape its destiny. Time has come to assault the Sherox upon their mountain. Even one as powerful as you could not do such a thing on your own. You have the full light of my orb behind him. But with the Selenian Rink at your side as well, you have the power to win a decisive victory. Yep, we're finally going to Mount Sherox. So we're definitely getting towards the end of the zone now. I know exactly where that army of uh, rank was. It was up towards where we were doing the parasites and uh, bloodfire scouts. Honestly, I have to say with a fast mount, it's actually kind of slippery to try these bridges out because a lot of times I'm almost like falling right off. I don't know if I can slip by here or not. Yeah, it looks like I did. I admit I'm kind of hoping to get this zone done tonight, to be honest. Still have a couple more hours to do videos, so I should be able to do it, I think. <coughs> After that, it's just a matter of getting the 65 and then doing whatever zone is deep to the south. I'm assuming that's like an after zone, like uh, the drone was. Then drone, I mean. I'm here for the inspection, what say you? What should we get stain of Sherrick's blood after this? Alright. My teeth will rend Sherrick's flesh from bone. Okay, they say the same thing as the first one. Alright, let's do this. It's time for the war. I don't even know what's going on here. <coughs> May as well take out a Beastmaster while I'm at it. Looks like they're all like kind of fighting each other over there, so I mean... Pop out in a moment, but let's do some we'll have some fun first, right? See, that's strange because my carnage count now counts two when I just killed one. I don't know. Sometimes it just kind of messes up. I think I don't know. Unless maybe that's one of the bonuses. Or doubles the count of these, maybe. I don't know. It'd be kind of neat. Oh, I, I understand what happened now. An invasion force came here and, like, just having an issue with something. I'm not sure exactly what. 
we've actually pretty much beaten up the, this rank forces here. It's kind of an awkward. <laughs> That may have been the last of them. Call in more of them. We're bringing this thing down. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, we'll see if this one counts as two again. Like I was saying, there was like a bonus screen when I first logged in. Maybe I should have kept it up on the recording, I don't know. But, uh, sometimes I occasionally see that. Suddenly things are dying on me here. My internet's dying or something. Now they only still count as one, so I guess just sometimes it kind of messes up and it counts two instead of one. I know, I, I know I've said I've seen that sort of thing happen before. What is up with the weird tank of like the invasions coming up here and like attacking everything? Surprise. Yeah, there's another invasion right over there. They must just get stuck on these when they come up here. I like the little, uh, jingle that goes on here. <laughs> I mean, hey, if we want to collect some planet rides while we're at it, going up here, I may as well, I guess. This time it's not letting me do it twice. Huh, okay. I guess it cheated it a bit last time because they were stuck fighting all the uh, invasion forces. At least that's what I would assume.
let's chew down. Try to give it a plan of right. Okay, they kind of got mixed up with the Beastmaster back there. That's fine though, we can kill the Beastmaster. can summon another set here. Ah, uh, no, one of them must be attacking, so... I think we're starting to lose some forces here. Oh, what am I doing attacking the Void Men here? I don't want to do that. I'm going to attack the Burning Alpha. Because things are going to come complicated if we destroy the Void too quickly. I don't know where my Razor Beast is. My Razor Beast is kind of somewhere. <laughs> Some another one there. Okay. All right, everybody, let's do this. Target this last guy. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Just a huge fumbling. They've barely done any damage to it. <laughs> They were all pretty much focused on that one act theory. Oh, there is a quest up this way, apparently. We're actually almost out of one of our slots of dark roast here. I don't think I've actually seen a replacement uh, beverage here. I don't think I've really looked, though. There hasn't been really too many vendors here in uh, Dark and Glacier. Like, maybe at Port Strudra, I could probably get beverages, but... even like actually really up into where we need to be yet. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The way reality bends and breaks on the mountain appears to be allowing a great deal of negative energy to leak into the plane. Dispersing this energy would go a long way toward protecting the glacier and the creatures who call it home. Okay. 
Oh, there's some negative energy right there. Like right on top of this, why is it not letting me? Uh... Ah, there we go. I need to click on it first. Oh. I see one over there by the. That's kind of unfortunate to have him over by the act very tender, though. I guess it's not too close, or at least gets farther enough away. Uh, they got some of the bigger, like, crab spiders up there that are part of Carnage Quest too, apparently. Quest is done at least. Got to kill six of these. At least it's not another eight one. <laughs> they love getting eight ones. Oh, there's a negative energy right there, actually. <coughs> kind of have a feeling that bolt, bolt is going to, uh... Kill Thungar by the end of this. Like, Wolf is probably going to be the big last boss, I think. I mean, it's essentially going to be either channeling Machadom or it's going to turn into Machadom. That's just my guess. Any more of the negative energies down this way, so let's go ahead and check elsewhere. I think I see another in oh no, that, that's just another void thing. Oh, there's one over there. Looking for some more of the untamed crab people too around. These negative energy things seem to be hanging around the void meteors though.
think we're pretty close to him, apparently. Oh, I see another one flying around over there, too. I'll go ahead and kill one more of these. I'm sure they're gonna have more of them up the mountain now. It seems like a pretty big mountain, actually. Some of our penguin army hanging around that negative spirit, keeping it there, obviously. Pulling their fill. That's gonna be a little bit difficult. Oh, we somehow managed to have uh, aggroing them. I'm very surprised. And then we pull this one, and we'll have two carriage quests done. So I'm assuming this is a carriage quest. Well, I mean, I usually just call carriage quests these ones that give the uh, reward afterwards, like this. Yeah, we should be good now, I think. Okay, we have to cause an avalanche, but we have to be pretty far up, it looks like. What? Okay, I think maybe we have to turn around and go the other way. That might be it. Yeah, this looks like that has an incline, so it probably leads up that way. Sure, the Sherrick's giants that Fenric and the rest of the rank mean business, rank banners should be placed on the corpses of fallen Sherrick's. Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna be fighting some Sherrick's then. At least that's what I'm assuming, unless we're just supposed to, like, find the corpses of some and put some flags there. Let's see. I'm sure we'll be able to find some if that's the case. Well, it looks like we might actually have to be fighting the uh, elites. Uh, I see an artifact up there. Up from over here, perhaps? When I say I can, let's see. Got some coral, nice. What do you think of my attack pods, Mammal? They will char they will turn the Sharaks and chum the thrall bulf. We will drive the cult of Akhan to our seas. We are defiant of their role, and we are guardians of the waters. <laughs> I like that. Mammal, well, once again we will work together to read the seas of evil. I will, fr I will frenzy with my most powerful schools and fight the Shuraks and their minions. You will go on the mystic journey and show that you are greater than others of your kind. 
Like how you're so like how you are so incorruptible. Even this Akaman harmonic lodestone will not devour you. Use it to seal the cosmic fissures that the Sherex have opened, and then take the power of the gods back from them. If all goes well, we'll meet at the midpoint and play the final feast. I mean battle. Alright, this is probably a good dot stopping point, I imagine. So next time we'll go ahead and uh how about a Phoenix plan here, and we're going to continue along with our slaughter up this mountain. So, see you then.